on an adventure to one of the wildest places on Earth. See what the new generation of First Nations stewards are doing to help protect the natural balance. Is that the cow? Oh, so cute. Take a remarkable journey into one of the most awe-inspiring landscapes on the planet. Yeah, a new IMAX film at the Museum of Science and Industry gives us a rare glimpse into one of the wildest and most remote places left on Earth that most of us have never even heard of. It's the Great Bear Rainforest in Canada. And the director of the film is Ian McAllister, who joins us now live. Good morning, Ian. Hi, good morning. That is just gorgeous looking at that footage there. You actually live there, is that right? I do, yeah. I'm actually on a boat right now in, in the Great Bear Rainforest. Oh my gosh. So what made you decide to create this film about where you live? Well, it's a place I've been working on conservation issues, mainly wildlife. Uh, protection for oh about 30 years and uh, I always thought it's such a magnificent part of the world with so much incredible globally unique wildlife uh, that it really deserved to be shown on the giant screen. So you're out there I I'm looking at this behind the scenes footage you're not shooting this from you know however many hundreds and hundreds of feet away <laughs> you're like right in there with these bears how does that work how does that happen? Uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it really does surprise people how uh, really incredibly tolerant uh, uh, bears and, and wolves and other wildlife are in this region. And I think it's because, you know, their habitat is still intact. They live in this incredible temperate rainforest. Uh, they've still got salmon to eat and uh, they're just not as stressed as uh, as, uh, as wildlife in many other parts of the world are because, you know, their food supply is diminished, they're stressed out, they're hunted for trophies, uh, all of those things. So we're super special to be able to, you know, document wildlife in an environment um, that is still so natural and, uh, and there's just not the same level of fear, I suppose, with, uh, with wildlife. So you guys spent three years d documenting these animals in the wild here. Did you run into any challenges with the animals? It sounds like maybe not, or with the weather or anything? Uh, yeah, w weather is a huge one. You know, we're mostly boat-based. There's no roads in this rainforest. Uh, you can only get there really by boat. Um, and, uh, of course, we have hurricane-force winds and big, a uh, lot of the uh, F filming underwater was done in the winter time when the water is more clear. So we, we run into a lot of weather. That's certainly a challenge. Sometimes it just rains every day for 30, 40 days, uh, oh, wow. which makes makes it tough to uh, to be filming in. Uh, but generally, it's uh, yeah, everything worked out really well, and it was just a, a fantastic uh, project to work on. Is this a place people can go visit? Where where is this great bear <laughs> bear rainforest exactly? Yeah, a lot of people in North America don't realize we have this incredible t temperate rainforest, but it's kind of between, uh, it's basically uh, most of the western Pacific coast of Canada. Uh, it is a very remote place, very few roads that um, uh, allow people to get there. So most people fly in on float planes um, and travel by boat. Uh, some local First Nations people have uh, some lodges and, and uh, that will supply guides and, and um, allow people to get around. Um, but it's it's not a place you can really just <clears throat> excuse me it's not a place you can just show up uh, on, on your own uh, you really need to have some help to uh, to get around to see it. Okay, so we saw some video earlier of a white bear. I saw in the materials you guys sent us there's an all white spirit bear. I would have thought polar bear. Is this something different? <laughs> well, yeah, it, it sort of <laughs> looks like a polar bear, but it's actually a pure white black bear. It's one of the rarest, wow. if, if, if not in fact the most, uh, uh, the rarest bear in the world. Uh, there's less of them than even panda bears, and uh, they're not albinos, but they have a. There's a black bear that carries a recessive gene that allows for a pure white bear and uh, they're absolutely spectacular. Uh, it took us a long time to be able to film them and document them but uh, they, they're featured in, as the, the, the leading stars in the, in the Great Bear Rainforest IMAX. That's great and there had to be something cool as a filmmaker about utilizing the IMAX format for this, especially at the MSI here in Chicago. It's like the Omnimax so the screen kind of wraps around you. As a filmmaker that's got to be pretty cool to immerse people in your film. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, seeing it uh, on the giant screen, it, it, uh, it's as close as you can get to being there and seeing it uh, uh, in person. And, uh, you know, just the, the, yeah, the sound quality and the, 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 um, the size of the screen, it's, it's really immersive. And it was, uh, yeah, a real privilege to be able to work in this format. Excellent. Well, you can check out uh, Great Bear Rainforest at the Museum of Science and Industry, playing now through Labor Day. For more information, go to greatbearrainforestfilm.com or msichicago.org. Ian, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Hey, Mike.